see this one? I was like, you guys have to try it because it's so Isan. You dip it in the sauce. Magical. You like it? Yeah, I like it especially with the sauce, that lime, chili, garlic sauce. You see this food like when you go the, in the southern part and in Bangkok, see Never. like you don't see it. Like you Never. have to come to Isan in you know, order to get it. Welcome to Kola. And since Kola is a gateway to Isan region, we are so excited for the food here. Becoming one of our favorite local Thai town. In this video, we are going to show you many night markets and we love Isan food and if you are like us who love Isan food then this is the video for you. So we got our food. We love Isan food as I said earlier. Isan food is just one of our favorite food in the entire world. <laughs> There's so many, but it's just one of the Isan especially here, Gaiyang, is the grilled chickens. This one's really cool. They actually have the whole chicken butterfly grilling over a charcoal pit. I love it. It's just spread out. He took it right off the grill fresh. I really appreciate that. He hacked it up and he added some, looks like fried garlic on top, and he threw some pepper. Mmm. That chicken is so smoky. Just that charcoal really had permeated the meat. It's a little bit um, sweet on the outside slightly, but it's really got that smoky flavor is dominant and that pepper and that garlic coming in. Awesome. I'm a huge fan of charcoal grilled meats. And this guy, um, it's a must try when you're here at Isan. You've got to get him when it's grilled on charcoal like this. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. for this small one or for this big one. Up next we have a sweet. This is something that's very nondescript. If we had just walked by, we never would have even noticed it. It's uh, recommended by our friend Tosh. She has some Isan roots. She says it's a real Isan sweet. And it's what it is, it's rolled up like dried mango. It's really interesting. Mm. I love it because it's not so sweet, you just got that natural sweetness to it. And it really reminds me of eating like fruit leather, like in the US. Like it kind of reminds me of that, this is that beautiful mango flavor, just fresh mango, absolutely delicious. Mm. Welcome to Save One Night Market. The largest night market we've ever been to in our lives. And we've been to many, 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 many night markets in many countries. This one is different. And you'll see why. So this market is so big that they even have their own, like they even have a shuttle that will take you to from point A to point B to point C. It's amazing.
Zinc looks so interesting. It, looks, it really looks, at first glance, like an arepa from Colombia. It's a yellow, round disc. Really curious to try it. I've seen it grow smell, on the charcoal. Smell it. It's so good, right? Ooh. It smells very eggy and, and smoky. <laughs> and it's all, it's grew on charcoal. Yeah. So it's really, really interesting. It's very hot still. <laughs> mm. Look at the texture wow. though! Do you mean grill? In Isan. In Isan language. Rice cake that's dipped in egg and then grilled on a charcoal. Very eggy flavor. Chewy. Smoky taste because that charcoal too. It reminds me a lot of arepa. It looked like arepa, but close to Isan arepa. Technically, yeah, I try arepa. Yeah, you can you can consider stuff like that to make it kind of like. It's like the rice is so staple here. Yeah, this one is classic to to this region. Yeah, especially like if you go to the countryside part of here of this region, it's like classic that people like wake up in the morning and then they would just like. Like kind of like make the rice into this form, kind of like mold it, mm -hmm. like shed it, and then they grew, they grew it in the like charcoal grill. It's like classic breakfast in countryside part of wow. Isan region. Do you see this food like when you go in the southern part and in Bangkok? See, Never. like you don't see it. Like you Never. have to come to Isan to, in order to get it. Yeah. Like this one is like my grandma is from like countryside part of Isan, and this is like every time we go to her house. We have this like for breakfast. Mm -hmm. wow. This is like my childhood awesome. memory. <laughs> so hard to find in Bangkok too. Dishes, Thai dishes period, homok. This one is really unique because it's actually not wrapped in the banana leaf, just the banana leaf underneath it. And when you cut it, you actually see veggies underneath it. It actually looks like cabbage. Mm. <laughs> this is always just so satisfying. It's a really rich flavor, spicy, that crunchy element from the veggie. I love that steamed fish. It even has that little coconut cream on top. That coconut cream gives it like a more luxurious flavor and texture. Mm. Delicious. So besides having all these like explosive flavors like the galango, turmeric, lemongrass, all that good stuff, the beauty is that he even told us that there's not really starch in here. It's all fish. It's really fresh. Like you can even taste it. Like the texture is different. And you got that nice layer of the Thai holy basil at the bottom. Even more flavor, man. I absolutely love these. BK night market. There's a lot of action going on. This is just, it's so big that this is only the food section. Another section is for clothing and stuff. This is only the food section and the food section is huge. It's kind of like overwhelming. We're gonna stroll around and hopefully we can get something to eat uh, that we really like. Of course, we're gonna get something to eat. This is the looks of this place.
This looked incredible right away because I saw all the lemongrass, lime leaf, galango, and these looks like snails, type of snail here. It's really a very, very rare dish here at Isan to get. Hmm? Look at this. Mm. Magical. Like it? It's almost got like an earthy taste, but you dip it in the sauce. Magical. Like it? Yeah. Okay. It tastes so fresh and so clean. Mm -hmm. They're tender. This place is so cool. Right across the night market has a two-story seating area. People sitting here eating. You can bring whatever you want, I guess. <laughs> there's no, there's barely stalls here, but the main area where the food court is is where you get your food. You come here across the street and you just sit down and just enjoy and hang out. Enjoy your food. I love the vibe of this MBK night market. It's got, it's very chaotic inside, but it's like a food paradise in there. There's so much food. It's really hard to narrow down what to get, but we got some really cool dishes here, especially this one in particular. You can't get any fresher than this. They're in that big tank. They're still moving around. She pulls them out. She puts them in this bowl. We have here a really funky dish I've never seen before. It's an Isan specialty. It's called Yum Guang Ten. That also translates to dancing shrimp salad. So there's lemongrass. Oh, it smells incredible. I'm gonna try a big spoonful of this. Mmm. Wow. You feel the little antenna of the baby shrimp, and they're quite crunchy, but there's also crunchiness from the lemongrass, the toasted rice powder. It's very similar flavor to a lot. Lime, chilies, lemongrass, all these herbs, a very bright, funky, vibrant dish. I love it. It's got all these little herbs in here. I think this is some Vietnamese coriander in there. It's really nice, refreshing, light dish. I love it. Great way to eat this dancing shrimp is to wrap it in beetle leaf. And then just eat it just like that. Mm. Mm.